began to building and finishing the pyramid of Thomas Travagal research. I've done a couple of things in advance, done myself a little handle. Couple more handles here. Wondering where I'm gonna use them, I'll show you. One of my handles will go here on the top. I'll do a couple of holes and pass a screw. So this one will be actually one of the handles to carry the pyramid on top. It's a pretty good idea to carry it, but being a large surface, actually I came up with another idea, so give you more options. I'll have this handle on the side here. I mean, probably the sides like that. So two people can carry it. I've done these handles, just hammer and uh, off cuts from my flat bar. Too easy, piece of pipe in the middle and use the hammer and the vice grip on my bench. So all this being said, they will be ready to mount after I drill the holes. I intend to make some weldings so I can reinforce the whole system. I also done something in advance. I placed a piece of flat bar down here at the bottom, mark it and so it will go here creating the flat, the base of the pyramid. Now, like I said, I got this sample. I'm gonna cut another tray similar with this, which will be placed down and welded. I got this already. The other tray here, what I'm going to do now is just uh, do a couple of welds on all the corners, reinforce the structure so I can keep working on it. Hopefully I'm going to get it ready today. It's not that easy to build a pyramid as it's not that easy to build a Thomas's uh, reactor and a capacitor. So I'm taking very seriously building a pyramid as Thomas takes serious building his reactor. So watch me from now on. I'll try to finish it today and post it. When you weld the pyramid, don't jump and start welding everything here, here, here. Weld a little bit on that corner, weld a little bit here. Weld a little bit on that corner, weld a little bit on the opposite side. So in that way the heat won't change the structure that much. So I've done a little bit of weld over there, I'm gonna do a little bit on the top. ready to place the uh, parts on the bottom. I'm gonna tack them and give them little stitches along here on the base and we'll take it from there with the next step. So once you cut your bits, you mark them, you cut them, just tack them in, make sure they fit nice and beautiful. Something very interesting. 
which can be helpful for future building pyramids, future plants. I got a lot to show you, so stay with me, don't go anywhere. Alright guys, what I have done here, I determine this pieces here, the angles, one angle which is going to be there on the bottom, as you can see. I also determine the top angles. I cut one piece, as I said previously, and then cut the rest of them. A total of eight altogether, so I can create this shape and have a flat surface here on a 52 degrees, as the pyramid is. I'm going to tack them together now, and um, we'll keep going and building this beautiful pyramid for Thomas Travelger project. Here we are. All this area is flat and beautiful. No angles inside. Perfect. 52 degrees for a pyramid. My handle will be attached on the top here. I'll drill holes and it'll be like movable. This handle. That will be the next step. And I'll also have two handles on the side for easy carry. So you can carry it aside for two people. It's got a nice shape now. As you guys can see, out of a flat body you can achieve a better shape, a better pyramid, and you can do much uh, better things for a future building pyramids. I'll show you what I mean by that. I'll just uh, weld stitches and then I'll grind it, polish it, all beautiful and will determine the two thirds, as Thomas said, for the reactor by uh, marking and having something in the middle. Uh, I hope this project is a better idea than the ones I've seen using um, square pipe like this. Which angles were horrible, horrible for every single one of you who built a pyramid for Thomas Traveler project. Or, now, this is uh, my approach, how to build a pyramid. From this shape, from this pyramid, you will be able to build future pyramids much better. I'll show you the secret and we'll keep going. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, I haven't finished yet. Um, here we are, finish welding the pyramid. I'm gonna do a little bit of grinding and cleaning everything edges make it look nice so a couple more tips for the pyramid uh, because we work on this pyramid trying to replicate Thomas's project I've seen a couple other needs which are required I'm gonna place these little pieces of uh, wire I bend it right on the corner here Anybody having any guess why? Well, I guess those working on Thomas's project, they already know why. So we can just place the string across and determine the middle of the base of the pyramid. So I'm gonna tack them down here. Nice and beautiful. So it will help us with replicating Thomas's project. Watch me. Got a few more little steps and uh, soon we'll be finished the pyramid and I'll release the second video and hopefully will be good for all of you out there. Stay with me, don't go. Looks
holes, making a little bit of uh, taking off the sharp edges using the countersink. Too easy. And then we'll file inside and take those sharp edges as well. inside, cut those sharp edges and then we can place our little handle which can move around and I'll show you how it look like. Stay with me, don't go anywhere. There's my handle which can be easily removed by removing the little bolt here so you can actually have my system to check your uh, center of your pyramid. So you can actually put back this handle and it's as you can see it spins around nice and beautiful just another idea to improve the project all I'll have to do next uh, weld these two handles on the side yeah to be carried easily anywhere else by two people so I'll place them in the middle I'll weld them and when the jeep rock will come, you'll have to cut a little bit of a slot over there so you can just uh, attach it nice. So, from this point, we'll be just uh, cleaning. I'll try to clean the pyramid. We also got the little corners over there for our little strings to determine the middle of the base. Uh, studying all uh, the needs for this project. I came up with all sorts of uh, little ideas. Now, there will be something else I would like to show you before uh, I close this project. Give me two seconds. Now, if you can see what I've done after doing this project, I type this side which you can clean nice with the Stanley knife and here cut it nice and beautiful measure that angle with your angle finder tape the bottom side the same way then peel it off after you measure the angles of this and this peel off your shape your lengths put them on a piece of paper sticky side, lying down and take it to a metal shop, sheet metal shop, metal fabrication and tell them to punch you and fold you. One, two, three, four paces, fold it on an angle you determine and you let them know to the lengths and sizes you want. Same with the other four and here you are, you got a uh, production, large scale production of Thomas Traveger's pyramid. Yes, Thomas, how to build a pyramid which really can help you out in your research easily once you do, you did this typing. From me, like I said, just to place the handles on the side for easy carry of a team of two people. Another handle if you want to carry by one person. Here's Thomas, your pyramid, pyramid for your research for the rest of the world. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. All I'll have to do just cleaning, grinding the welds, nice and beautiful, and uh, place the jeep rock on three sides and take it from there. I hope you enjoyed this project. I hope it's useful for everybody. I hope you realize what I've done here. It's a mass production once you did this shape. You can actually copy the shape, the angles, and get it done in no time. 
once you get it punched 2.5 mil thickness material any shop can do it for you thank you very much for watching from George R Studio Transylvania very happy to help you out in replicated replicating Thomas Travagers power pyramid I hope to see you soon bye all and thank you again to all my kind subscribers and friends who wish me so much well in my videos from this beautiful spring season in Australia we wish you all the best nice easy to carry two people with handles two handles one handle easy to lift put it down nice that's a beautiful pyramid for a nice expansion. Here I give a coat of uh, cold gel painting, anti-rust, to my pyramid. I put the strings and uh, to check the center. As you can see, it's got the handles, easy to carry, very practical, and uh, it's very well positioned to the center. So, this is the pyramid I'm going to work on Thomas's project. This is what I will suggest to all of you. Uh, beautiful job, beautiful work, I enjoyed it. I hope it's useful to you. And uh, this was another project from our studio Transylvania here in Canberra. George, wish you all the best to all of you. Good luck, last day in touch. I'm very keen to find out how you guys go. Thank you very much for watching.